Hey Collective, how are you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Let me go ahead and apologize about the robe. I know you're going to see my arms, so, <laughs> or the robe on and wonder why I'm doing this, but actually I had a, I had to train a little bit early today, so I wanted to get a shower before I jumped on here, so don't mind me. Okay guys, let's get, oh, Karen Connections, flipped it right over, number 14, maybe 41, 14 is significant. We're going to jump right into it, guys. As always, uh, this will be a general collective reading. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. Journey. Okay. And a Blossom and Abundance. Very good. We have some anxiety here as well. Hmm. We'll get one more, I think. An attachment. Huh. That's interesting. Caring Connections journey and then blossoming abundance. And then we have someone here who is feeling a lot of anxiety. By the way, before I get uh, started, I really had to, to zoom in today on, especially on these readings. I just simply cannot believe them, especially these twin flame connections. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they're coming together quite obviously, but even to me, it's like, wow, you know, this is a miracle. So, <laughs> um, I'm saying this because of all of the things I think surrounding it, all of the energy that we're seeing surrounding it, all of the assaults that are surrounding it. And I'm thinking about how a few details will change here and there. And I really think, I really feel anyway that that has to do with where people are. Okay. Every single solitary situation is not going to be the same. And likewise, every single solitary situation is not, you know, to be brought together like that, maybe not even in this lifetime, but some people are clearly ready. And I was hoping that as a collective, you know, maybe we can hold space for them because um, if they are coming together, because it's very clear to me that they're undergoing so many bad things, so many assaults, it looks like. And amidst it, they're obviously just trying to rise and stay in a calm and balanced and stay in alignment with it. And that takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of commitment. So I don't want to be an opposing force to that. I'm just going to try and hold space. And hopefully you guys will agree with me on that and try to hold space for the people that are going through this because they certainly don't deserve all of that. Uh, I have somebody here that may be walking away. Hmm. Walking away. So walking away from what? We'll have to see. This is somebody who clearly feels... Maybe somebody's walking away to a caring connection here. Maybe they're going on some kind of journey. Maybe they're walking away due to a caring connection that is being felt here. And they're, they're going on some kind of journey. Maybe they're traveling or they're getting on some kind of spiritual journey. Maybe they're journeying to see someone as well. And perhaps this is going to bring some kind of blossoming abundance here. Somebody has a lot of anxiety over this, a lot of attachment, it looks like, over whatever this is. Let's keep going. Sore. You're being asked to stop dimming your own light, period. It's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar. Fly high, dear one. Okay. So maybe somebody is walking away from something so that they can... Let's get one more. Protect. You're being asked to protect yourself and your inner... Look at that. It's, I mean, it's just what I was just talking about. I'm telling you, okay? It's okay to want to give to others what you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. So here's the deal. I feel like somebody could be on some kind of spiritual journey or something here that is bringing, or maybe they're doing something based on that or based on some knowledge, wisdom, something that they've been able to obtain as a result of it. They may be finding themselves in a new caring connection or it could just be, you know, finding new caring connections, something like that. 
whatever they are doing though is about to really take off okay and i almost feel like spirit is also saying here with sore though as well kind of you know don't be afraid it is going to i think it's going to require some kind of it may require a sacrifice here but definitely a step right don't be afraid it's weird, actually, because when I was meditating as well, I don't know why I started thinking a lot during the course of the meditation. I think I got a little sidetracked, but it was about how people are so offended when, you know, if you challenge them in some way or if your views challenge them in some way. And I don't know if this has to do with someone who I'm talking about here. Um, so instead of learning or instead of just being like, okay, whatever, these are my triggers, you know, I think that people get really offended by that. I don't know if I was attaching that to some of the attacks that are going on as well. It definitely could be. It doesn't have to be. But I don't know why I'm saying that now when I'm talking about somebody taking off in their career, in their life in some way or in something that they're doing. I almost feel like the detractors are would be out or are kind of out here. And it's going to be important to really pay attention to that. And when I say detractors, you know, this could be something as simple as just a lot of people just kind of pulling at your energy as well, wanting your attention, um, you know, stuff like that. Just a distraction. I, I don't know why I said a distraction. I guess it is. It must just be a distraction. Yeah, for you. And you're supposed to focus on just making sure that you have really good boundaries here. Something's about to push somebody ahead. I feel like we've been getting this. Push somebody ahead into something. Yeah, into something that they... I don't feel like you're in it right now. If you are, you maybe you're at the starting point. You haven't really... I don't, you definitely have not hit the high point is what I'm feeling. This may actually mean that you have to travel or go on some kind of journey as well. <laughs> this may be a journey within itself, right? Spirit may be trying to guide you into something different and asking you to let go of what people think, uh, how you're impacting them, and just really getting out here and doing what you feel is valid to you. What is your truth, okay? Standing in your own authenticity here. I don't know if there's a caring connection around this as in romantically or if this is just telling me because this card is very romantic, right? But maybe it's just also saying that you're going to be attracting caring connections yeah, around you. But somebody's not happy about whatever you're doing here, whatever you're having to walk away from. I feel like somebody here has a lot of anxiety over it. And this is somebody who could be deeply attached to you or feel deeply attached to you in some way. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. I think I'm going to jump right in if that's okay. Let's just get right into the tarot tonight and see what is going on. It's only like six here, so I never do readings this early. Hopefully I can get in. I didn't finish any more last night because I was so gobsmacked by <laughs> what was coming out. And I guess I never knew about the... The Scorpio Sag connection. I don't know how, but last night's readings were like, oh my God, just the, the same things going on. Very interesting. Okay. So we have a page of wands here and we have judgment. Okay. What else here? Or who is coming towards the collective? Ten of Cups. So is this family? This could be family that you're walking away from or somebody who, oh, okay, somebody who views you as family, something like that, or definitely emotional fulfillment in some sense, something you're about to get a lot of emotional fulfillment here. Somebody could want to talk to you about this, or maybe this is somebody that's just reaching out to you, right? This could be some new caring uh, connection here that you've made here. It looks to me like you've definitely been through a period of awakening here for sure. Yeah, you've definitely been through a period of awakening here. And I, I, okay, so you heard the call. That's what I just got. You're also hearing the call here. So this is what's happening. So you're changing. You're changing not only yourself. I feel like you're changing your life. You could very well be changing your vocation or something that you're doing as well. Honestly, if you think about what is that? Uh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, good. Yep. 
paper. Okay. Hey, you're changing something about yourself. And maybe this is somebody from the past here who is actually having some anxiety and attachment here. Okay, feeling very attached. Maybe they've been trying to attach to your energy as well. They're having a lot of anxiety about where you're at. Maybe even in your growth process. But may, if this is family, it could just very well be to where you're going here. Okay, because I do have the Ten of Cups, but I also have the Six of Cups, which can also tell me this could be family. This could be people who you go way back with. Okay. I feel like there's some kind of reveal that is coming up. What is that about? Some kind of reveal that is definitely coming up. Or somebody may want to reveal or unveil something to you. This could be an emperor, actually. So maybe this is your father, or maybe this is just an emperor type energy. If this is not you, somebody could want to unveil something to you, something may, maybe that has been hidden, maybe talk to you about it. Again, this could be someone who is in the family. If this is the person that's went through some kind of awakening here, it could definitely be this person, okay, wanting to talk to you about some changes that they're making. You know, and, and I don't know if they're in your family or if this could be also around their family here. Something is definitely, I, I, there's a big emphasis on family for some reason, a big emphasis on the family life here. Somebody has definitely been uh, doing some healing and it looks like they're coming out of that. And they're trying to take charge. It looks like they're trying to take charge. They're trying to take charge of their life. Show me the collective's energy spirit. So somebody could just give you a random text or something like that. Now, mind you, this could be the person here that's anxious, okay? Or that feels very attached to you in some way. I don't know. Let me look at your energy. Spirit, give me the collective's energy, please. Yeah, you got a lot of options here, it looks like. So you've been fighting a battle. Yeah, you definitely been fighting a battle here. I think you're really having to stand your ground. All right. You may be feeling a bit defensive at this particular time as well. Or really protective of your energy here. Yeah, because maybe you know. Maybe you know something here has been trying to throw you off. I think you're leery. <laughs> That's what I, yeah, you are. Queen of Swords. I mean, you're leery. I think you're leery of anybody maybe even trying to come back to you or trying to stay attached to you. You may be coming out of a time, too, where you felt like <clears throat> maybe your, your energy had shifted a little bit or the circumstances in your life had shifted a little bit. It could honestly, it could be a time where you didn't feel very fortunate in your life. There may have been some money loss or job loss or... <clears throat> Yeah, maybe something like that. Money loss here. It could be job loss or anything. You know, it's just a period of, of misfortune here. And so you definitely have your sword pretty high here, okay? I think that you are being, um, you're just trying to be really intelligent. I think about your energy moving forward and about who you let around you. Notice that the Queen of Swords is actually fallen on the Six of Cups here. So especially people from the past here, I think you've, in your mind, you've already cut this situation out, okay? We have the Two of Wands as well, showing me that you are making a decision here. Yeah, to, to have some kind of fresh start in your life, okay? So you want to have a new start, a very creative start in your I think this is you that's soaring. i got to be honest with you. Wow. Six as well. Yeah, I think you're soaring at this particular time, okay? You're moving ahead here, and I think you're doing it with a great sense of clarity. But you have somebody here that is definitely very anxious about this. Again, let it, you know, it could be your, your family. It could be your father. It could be your children, for that matter, but it could be someone else. There's a lot of anxiety around this because something is requiring you to walk away. It's almost like to forge a new path for yourself to go on this journey. Maybe it's a solo journey. I don't really know. We did see caring connections, so I'm probably going to think maybe not so much. But it is kind of one of those things, especially the way that this protect uh, card came out and the way that it read. It's almost like, you know, this is not full-blown assaults. This is, you know, protect your energy. You're going to have a lot of people pulling at your energy, and you need to be protective of that. You know, God always has you. I'm sure that you know this. The source will always, you know, fight your battles. 
and also protect you. You know, just be very open about what your needs are. Okay, so, hmm. So what's on the horizon here then for the collective spirit? King of Cups, okay. What's on the horizon? Five of Swords, hmm. Okay. Faith, I'm telling you, I think that's this person. Okay, let's see. Hermit. Three of Cups coming out again in reverse. Nine of Wands. All right, I got ten of coins on the bottom here. I'm trying to see who did. Let me just, let's clarify this Three of Cups here because I really feel like, oh, wow, Three of Cups. I'm sorry, Three of, yeah, Three of Cups in reverse is clarified by the Ten of Coins and the Nine of Coins. I think somebody is moving ahead here. See, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. I feel like maybe somebody is coming towards you then. Maybe somebody is coming or moving ahead or sitting there. Honestly, they don't even have to be moving ahead. I usually think that the Kings are action-oriented, but it doesn't have to be. I certainly can see somebody is sitting here with a lot of love, it looks like, in their heart. Um, maybe unexpressed love. This could be the person that has a lot of anxiety and attachment. That could also be part of their conflict here. Somebody could feel like they are... I feel like somebody might feel like they're being kept at bay or they're being kept out of out of something that is happening with you, out of some kind of change. This person has a lot of anxiety. Because, okay, so you're a really free spirit as well. It looks to me like you're moving towards... They know that you're moving into... I don't know if you're moving to a new place or maybe you're, you're just... Hang on one second. I'm sorry. One second. Sorry about that. He didn't know I was doing a video. It looks to me like, oh, so anyway, I don't know if you're moving to a new place. I don't think it's that. I think it's just that you're moving into a new energy. Something is taken off for you. Maybe they already know that about you. Yeah, something about your commitment is elsewhere. That's what I feel. And I think this person, I don't know, honestly, with that Five of Swords as well, they could have been trying to... to create some kind of conflict in your life as well, even though they have this love very clearly for you. This person is all conflicted. I'm just going to tell you right now because, because of the feelings, maybe this person, all, okay, so this goes back to what we started off the conversation about, right? This could be an imbalance, you know, people are at different levels, okay? We obviously have someone that could very well still be acting Maybe they're acting from a place of, you know, that they still have a lot of karma, it looks like, to kind of work through here. Maybe they're trying to keep the faith on this situation as well, okay? This isn't somebody that's going with you, i got to be honest. I, I don't feel that at all. I feel like this is somebody here who has a lot of love for you, but they know that you're changing course in some way. You're letting go. You have, obviously, you're standing your ground, right? And this is another thing I think that really kind of bothers them. They don't get the same affections that they did and maybe the same attention that they did from you before i do think this person might be looking for answers but why why all the conflict with this person they could be an aquarius by the way they don't have to be there's definitely some conflict within this person here and the conflict has to do with your nature with you you choosing kind of this path that maybe i don't know if it excludes them to a certain degree You know, they could definitely feel like there's supposed to be some kind of, you know, in some kind of contract here with you that there's supposed to be something that you guys are doing together, but you're not. 
It just looks to me like you're not here. There's no reason to celebrate. There is no renewal. I mean, this is definitely a card of reconciliation and it's in reverse. Okay. And what's interesting here is when I'm asking about the card, when I said clarify the three, look what I got. I got the ten of coins and the nine of coins. It's almost like you're moving forward on your path that's going to bring you some kind of great abundance, some kind of blossom and abundance here. And somebody else is left out here feeling like maybe the wounded warrior, feeling embattled by the, oh, I started to say by the situation, but I clearly heard their decisions. Okay, let me ask what happened with this person here. What happened here with this king of, wow, king of cups has flipped out immediately, 10 of swords. What happened here with this uh, King of Cups energy spirit? Yeah, and also you're sovereign. Do you see this? You're in the Nine of Coins energy. So not only are you getting to this Ten of Pentacles, you're doing it alone. You're doing it in this sovereign energy, okay, by yourself. It looks like you're creating a very beautiful world, a really beautiful life for yourself. What happened with this King of Cups? person walked away from you in the past is what it looks like this person could have honestly ended something in the past here maybe quite abruptly they could have fallen you know into honestly with this nine of cups energy somebody could have said the right things to them <laughs> you know maybe they thought that connection was going to be something that was lifelong here with this tree of life that the roots really ran deep with that something along those lines and it looks to me like this person could actually move towards towards the wrong person and I am going to say the wrong person because I can see now that they have figured that out, that they made a wrong decision and now they feel stuck in a connection here. They definitely moved away from you in some sense to something that they thought would be some kind of dynasty, right? Something that they felt they could grow with. Hmm. Somebody could have sold them a bill. So I don't know if they had a business with another person as well with this Palace of Wands. They could have definitely had a business or something creative they were trying to do. I don't know if your person's an influencer or something like that. This reeks of something very creative that they could have been doing. And maybe it was with some kind of sort of family as well. We saw that up here as well with all the family and your person's energy. So it could be with family. Okay, but I think somebody said the right words for them. Somebody actually ended up walking away from your connection here, and now they feel stuck in a situation because I think you've evolved so much here. Yeah, you've evolved so much here, and I don't think you're giving this person any indication that there's a chance in hell that they're going to be able to get you back, to be honest with you, not in this Three of Cups energy, if this is your reading, of course. Yeah. They don't see that you're willing to, to do any kind of reconciliation here. I think they've done some things here, to be honest with you, maybe to create some kind of conflict. I don't know what that means. All right. Whatever they have done here to create some kind of conflict in your life, um, energetically or, or on a very real physical level. But yeah, it's not coming to be. And I also think there could be some anger about that as well, because this person's like, wait, I put in my time, I've prayed, I've, you know, I've tried to meditate, you know, I think they're really annoyed with you. And it's, I don't know why they're so annoyed with you. Something about you. So you're definitely, you're walking your truth. I think you're speaking your truth, but you're choosing almost like this solo path. And I think that annoys them because they feel like they should be in this with you or like they're supposed to be. So is this more about entitlement? Maybe this is about entitlement. And by the way, this doesn't have to have rom be romantic. This, this could be romantic, but it could also be about family or something like that. This person listened to the wrong people, absolutely. And they walked around away from a situation thinking something was going to be great in their life and really evolve only to find out that this is probably who you are and now they're stuck in a bad situation, or at least they feel stuck. They may also feel stuck because they, they can't get in. Right, they can't get back into your life in some way. There's a lot of anxiety around this, but also a lot of attachment to you. 
So if you are not good with this person's energy, I don't like attachments personally, but if you are not good with their energy, you may want to cut cords. By the way, cords of love, I mean, you're not going to dissolve a cord of love, right? It just reattaches. So, but the other cords, anything that is negative or nefarious or just bad energy that's ran its course, you, you know, that that's always good to get that off of you. You will start to feel lighter for sure. All right, let's, this is interesting. So let's keep going. Let me see if I can get some more from this situation. So you're heading in a different direction. You're definitely on some kind of journey. Blossom and Abundance, by the way, is not always about just money. It's about everything in your life. Your life just getting substantially better, right, in all areas. And it's because you are keeping your focus here is what it looks like. Yeah, look at this. All right. Charming Romantic Proposal. That could also be an apology, though. Diamond Ring. Oh, okay. What else? Mm, on a dead situation that somebody's trying I'm telling you <laughs> all right so this person is watching you all right very clearly here they're trying to be very discreet maybe about what they're doing about seeing you about their feelings about what they're seeing here maybe they are thinking about or really wanting to take a risk it almost feels to me like they are trying to look this is the end cycle, right? This is an actual death here. I mean, this person could have wanted or felt like I can just pop back in here. I know because I think you used to have a soft place in your heart for this person and maybe you did let them back in. All right. So they could come in with some kind of charm and maybe they just thought they could walk back in. Okay. With some kind of charming proposal or something like that. Maybe even a diamond ring here, but it looks like, it looks like that, that ship is sailed to be honest with you. So so there's some kind of cycle that is ended here that could also be freaking them out because that could also be the anxiety. It's almost like I'm waiting on you. Why would a person be waiting on you though? Let me think about this. Why would a person be waiting on you to give them the okay when they ended things? They're saying they ended things. They walked away to follow what they thought was going to be something great for them. And now they're just feeling stuck in that situation. So maybe it's because you are in this queen of swords energy and they know that you don't play that. Okay. And that you're not, you know, that, I don't know. They, are they scared of you? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's some kind of intimidation factor maybe here. All right. Not that you're intending to do that, you know, but some people just get intimidated by other people. Yeah. That's why. Yeah because you've locked the door, you've closed them off here, okay? And they don't think that they're going to be able to penetrate that. And you could also be the one, they could be watching you as well, out here taking risks, going in a different direction here as they watch you, knowing that this door is closed. Hmm. Let me see what's coming up for you. So Spirit, what is coming up new then for the collective here? Yeah, and I just got the dude was really stupid. So, you know, maybe them walking away came with other stuff as well. I don't know. So, what is coming up new, Spirit, with this news that the collective is making here? Moving into good luck. That's interesting because you had that in reverse before. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Two of cups energy. Moving out of isolation. And wow, you're releasing things. Look at this. Yes. Yes. So you do have some kind of new caring connection. It looks like that's trying to come towards you. It looks like you're moving into a time here. First of all, you're following your destiny. Okay. Um, Maybe you're also releasing things kind of to the universe, allowing things to just flow, okay? Letting the universe kind of take control in this situation. You're about to come into some kind of partnership here. This could be a love. This could be a work 
situation. It does say caring connection, so I have to think that it's probably going to be something a little more romantic here. Somebody at least that you have a very close bond with that you could be joining forces with here. And this is definitely coming after a time of maybe feeling withdrawn a little bit or feeling a bit stuck as well, but also repeating past mistakes. What's funny about this is I think you're very conscientious here. This Hermit is in reverse. So I think you are very conscientious about not repeating the past mistakes that you did with this last love situation as well. You're definitely dropping the burdens and you know that you have to do that. You need to drop the burdens here. Have good boundaries. Just be conscientious about not uh, repeating the past mistakes again, right? Whatever those were to you so that you can actually move forward with a sense of freedom here. Yeah, and that's exactly what you're doing here. You're definitely moving forward here. There's a lot of success here. You guys could be moving, okay? You could be doing some kind of traveling here. Wow, the lover's card. Yeah, so this could definitely be a soulmate connection or some kind of divine love connection that's coming into your life. We have the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. That's it. Wow. That's incredible. And the Hierophant here. Yeah, I think you're about to, I think you're walking right into a commitment. That's what I get. Definitely. I think you're about to walk right into a commitment here. All right. And... Obviously, it's going to take some, I, this might be coming pretty fast here, okay? So, I wouldn't worry too much, I mean, it's up to you, obviously, with what you want, but according to these energies here, I don't think I would worry too much about this person who has all this anxiety that's attached themselves to you or that feels very attached to you, that's clearly seeing that the energy is divided and you're moving on with your path here. What's really interesting with this is that the the non-renewal of the relationship or coming back together being clarified by the ten of uh, coins and the nine of coins because this right here definitely indicates to me that you could be single okay or maybe just single as you're kind of building uh, yourself back up okay but it looks like in the in the interim you're also going to be meeting somebody okay who will be quite significant it looks like in your life as well and it could absolutely lead to some kind of commitment here. And maybe that's what this is as well. Maybe this diamond ring, this true loyalty, maybe you're actually finding some kind of true loyalty here, some kind of love token here with someone, you know, that is new or someone who, um, I feel like they're new, to be honest. I don't even know if you know this person. I definitely don't think it's somebody who has hurt you in the past. I'm not seeing that in the cards at all, so... Okay, let me get a few more and then we'll wrap it up for this story today. Let's hear what else do we see here for the collective, please. Wow, marriage. You can't make it up. You're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. I, I really think you're about to walk right into another connection. Or something that you're doing. Maybe this is how you meet them. There's something you're doing. You could already be collabing with them in some way, shape, or form. The lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Yeah, you're going to need that as well. You're a very strong person anyway, I feel. But you'll need that anyway for this to soar. And the fact that I was getting those thoughts during the course of my meditation too about others trying to impose or being so triggered or whatever... Um, in terms of that, that doesn't matter. I mean, obviously, I think spirit is very clear about always speak your truth and live authentically. And, you know, people are going to listen, you can do all the best things in the world or try to be the best person you can be. And, you know, try not to ever offend people. It's just not, it's just not logical. Okay. If you're speaking your truth, especially about whatever you're doing here, because you're clearly on some kind of path. If you're, if you're being your authentic self and it rubs people the wrong way and you know that you're being, you know what I'm saying? Or you feel like you're just being true to yourself. There's nothing you can really do about that. You know, you can never, ever be all things to all people. And that's okay. You don't need to be. There's other options for them. Right? Okay. Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. I'm telling you. Yeah. So you got a lot of good things that are coming up. I'm not going to dig into this past person because it is the past is what I'm seeing here. You're definitely walking away from this situation or you have walked away from this situation is what I'm seeing here. And that's allowing something new to come in. But also 
It's allowing you, I think it's been your devotion to whatever you're doing here that's allowing you to soar in a different direction. Um, whoever is coming in, I think will really compliment that for you. So that'll be nice. Okay, guys, that is what I have. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a good night. Bye.